Okay, we uh, got a call to assist with a uh, female hiker down up near San Jacinto Peak. Um, as soon as we heard San Jacinto Peak, we know it's going to be a high altitude rescue. So we had to reconfigure the ship, drop some weight off of it, went down to our minimum crew for the rescue, and uh, we took off. It's only about a 12-minute flight from here. Uh, got on scene, located the victim. Um, it was a hip injury. She was unable to walk. So we lowered uh, one of the rescuers down, and he made uh, the assessment. Um, we brought her up in what's called a screamer suit which is uh, kind of a, a little chair that they sit in. Picked up our rescuer and we departed, dropped her off at an ambulance at uh, Keene Wild Helibase, which is up in Idlewild. Uh, you know, the mission was fairly routine. Um, we get probably 30 or so a year. Um, a lot of them are up in that area. This one in particular, what made it interesting is that it was one of our highest elevation rescues at 10,700 feet. When you're doing a rescue up at that altitude, um, you're just dealing with uh, the very limits of the performance of the aircraft. The, um, just, you know, you're circling around the peak. Uh, one minute you're looking down at the ground, you can see the ground, you can see rocks and pine cones, and then the next minute in the same orbit, you're 10,000 feet over the desert floor. So it's like the bottom drops out. And so the whole time you're up there, it's like being at the top of a roller coaster ride, really. So. It's, it's both thrilling and kind of scary at the same time.